Hi, good morning, Bible Revival. We're still on our series, which could go forever. But I'm trying to show you the bridge series where the Old Testament and New Testament. So it's funny when uh, I look at the New Testament, for instance, John 12, 13, ver chapter 12, 13 and 14 verses. They took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the king of Israel. Jesus found the young donkey and sat upon it as it was written. Wow, wait, as it was written. That's our whole thing. A lot of statements go as it was written in the Old Testament. We're talking all of these prophecies that were fulfilled. I talk fast because I'm trying to get a lot in in a short time. So I said I read that somewhere. Zechariah 9.9, 9, Old Testament. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, see your king comes, gentle, riding on a donkey. And the people will be singing, Hosanna. I was like, wait a minute. How did they know? Blah, blah, blah. You know, to the mind that's new to the Lord, and you're just starting to read. I say, wow, how did they know? That was only one of many that I'm giving in this series. For instance, he was going to be buried in a rich tomb. This is from Isaiah, Old Testament, 700 years maybe. Isaiah 53, 9, fulfilled in Matthew 27, verses 57 to 60. So in Isaiah, hundreds of years, he was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Though he had no violence nor was he any deceit come out of his mouth. So here's this righteous guy, he's gonna be buried um, in a rich man's grave. Let's fast forward, that's Joseph of Arimathea, who believed in the Lord. He was a Jew, but he goes, I'll put him in my tomb, because he was, he was wealthy, he had it. So let's see Matthew. As evening approached, this is after the crucifixion, there came a rich man, from Arimathea, named Joseph, who had himself become a disciple of the Lord, Jesus. So going to Pilate, Pontius Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body, and Pontius Pilate ordered that it be given to him. I love when the, I love when the old dictators, Pharisees, when these, these guys had power, you know, just with a, a simple move like that meant a lot. So he ordered give this body to this Joseph. And Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and placed it in his own tomb. It was brand new tomb that he cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. The point is, we talked about two today. Predictions that the, the grave will go to a sinless person and buried by a rich man. And the other one was the triumphant entry on a donkey, Palm Sunday, predicted in Zechariah 9, 9. Make these notes, because when you're evangelizing to someone else, first of all, yourself is gonna be amazed. Hundreds of them, yourself is good, hundreds of them. I could go on. If we ever had a sit-down Bible study, I would give you copies of this. Call me. I'll copy things for you. I mean, not call. What is this, you know, messaging on the side? All right. I'll, I'm going to go. I'm all over the place. I'm just excited because I, when I found these, this was thrilling. It reinforced my faith. I hope it does the same to you. God bless.